show that the equation 3x squared plus 2k plus 1 times x minus uh, k plus 3 equal to 0 has more than one real Real solutions or real numbers. Or oh, let me write two real solutions. See, when you are learning, when you, you if you haven't learned complex number, if you have a quadratic equation, either you will have if you have only learned real numbers, there are uh, complex numbers or imaginary numbers. So real numbers are all numbers that you have learned: fractions, decimals, recurring numbers, and all numbers. Or Real numbers, in short, are numbers which can be expressed as a fraction. That's what real number means. Okay, so this means you have learned a quadratic formula, which is like this. x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, this is a quadratic formula. Okay. Now, here, this... this what is inside the bracket is called the determinant. This is called the determinant. This determines how many roots a quadratic equation has. So uh, I hope you know a quadratic equation in real uh, in real numbers has got either one solution or two or no solution. Okay, so when you say there are two real solutions, what does that mean? Two real solution or roots in some books they call roots, they one and the same thing. Two real solutions or root means this has to be a positive number. b squared minus 4ac is, should be greater than 0. So let us understand that if it is a positive number, you'll have two numbers here. It'll be plus something or minus something. That's why it has to be positive. If it's a negative, you cannot find square root of a negative number in real numbers okay and if it is zero you'll have only one solution that means if this is zero this part will not play any role this will become zero so if there's only if this is zero your root will only be minus b over 2a i hope you know that so basically they're asking us to prove this fact that b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero so let's identify what is a what is b and what is c so your a Comparing, I hope you know the general formula of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So when you compare this with this equation, I hope you can see a is 3, b is 2k plus 1, and c 2k plus 1. 2k plus 1 and c is this minus whole thing k plus 3 or that is c if you simplify this is minus k minus 3 okay so let us find what is b squared minus 4ac so b squared minus 4ac is equal to this will be 2k plus 1 the whole squared minus 4 times a times, I'll put this in the bracket, minus k minus 3. Okay, so now expanding this, so this is 2k plus 1 times 2k plus 1. And if you, I'll put minus 4a, so can I write this like this? Minus, if you take the minus out, I should have written like this only. So this two negatives becomes positive. So now let me expand this. So 2k times 2k is 4k squared, 2k times 1 is 2k, 1 times 2k is 2k, which is 4k, and 1 times 1 is 1, and these two negatives will become positive. It's plus 4a 
oh a is not a a is three sorry so a is three yeah sorry so this is three yeah so this is minus 12 so this will become plus 12 times k plus 3. So let's expand this a bit further. So this is 4k squared plus 4k plus 1 plus this is how much k? So this is 12k and 12 times 3 is 36. Okay, so let us uh, simplify this a little. So this is 4k squared. So here you've got a 2, 4k and 12k which gives you 16k plus uh, 37 okay so what can we do now so yeah let us make a completing use the completing the square method so first let me factorize 4 out here so if you factorize if you factor out a 4 you'll have k squared plus okay no no we'll do it in a different way okay so this will become more complicated so if you this is 4k squared plus 4k uh, plus 16k okay plus what gives me a perfect square okay plus something gives me a perfect square plus 37 I'll fill this gap later on so I'm going to I I think this is a better way, so I'll factorize 4, so it's k squared plus 4k. I'll keep a gap here, a bit difficult step here, uh, plus 37. So now, uh, using the completing the square method, this is half of 4 is 2, and uh, then you have to uh, put 4 here, and square of 2 is 4. So in fact, you have, this is 4k squared plus 4k, and can you see this is plus 16? So you have added 16 on your own, okay? So what should remain now? So you, you have got 37, yeah? Okay, so you got 16. You have added 16 on your own, so I'm going to take away 16. Okay, so this is plus 16 minus 16. This is what I've done. I've added 16 and taken away 16. So this, you can factorize, factor out, I've factored out a 4 here from this, and this has become this inside the bracket. This is minus 16 plus 37. Okay, so this is 4 times. This is k plus 2, the whole squared. And this is plus 21. Now, so this is b squared minus 4 is. So now you have to, this still here, yeah, not that difficult. Slightly, it's difficult at this stage. At this stage, it's a bit difficult. Now, I want you to think logically. Can this ever become negative? Suppose whatever the value of 21 is always positive. This is plus 21. So if k is positive or negative, okay, this whole thing can become negative or positive. But when you square it, it's always going to be positive. So I hope you know that k plus 2 the whole squared is always going to be greater than 0. That's one understanding that you should have. If you square any number, negative or positive, it always it's always going to be positive. So this is going to be positive. So times it by 4, it's going to be positive. In short, this whole thing has is always going to be positive. This implies b squared minus 4ac is always greater than 0, which implies there are two real solutions. I've got two real solutions.